Startups and entrepreneurial ecosystems such as Silicon Valley constantly generate potentially disruptive technologies and business models. Consequently, multinational companies are finding it essential to be connected to the ecosystems where these opportunities are emerging. Innovation outposts can be defined as internal teams located in entrepreneurial ecosystems that help their companies manage open innovation. But simply setting up an innovation outpost is not enough for companies to create value. In fact, many outposts fail to be effective brokers that connect their companies with entrepreneurial ecosystems. Why do some innovation outposts fail? Some lack connectivity at both ends, also known as the loners. Some companies establish outposts in entrepreneurial ecosystems by sending one or two individuals on a reconnaissance mission in order to gain information. These loners exhibit low connectivity internally and externally because their lack of connectivity to headquarters decreases connectivity in the ecosystem and vice versa. Some lack connectivity to headquarters, also known as the connected castaways. In outposts where managers are well connected with the ecosystem, they often lack the appropriate connections with their headquarters. Managers with high external connectivity and low internal connectivity felt like castaways on a remote island, yet felt well integrated with the locals. Some lack connectivity to the entrepreneurial ecosystem, also known as the VIP sightseers. Some outposts are well connected with their headquarters but have difficulty establishing meaningful connections in the ecosystem, or have high internal connectivity but low external connectivity. They are practicing innovation tourism because they do not stay long enough in the ecosystem to help create deep associations. To avoid these pitfalls, here are a few methods of making a successful innovation outpost. Define a clear and adaptive purpose. Multinational companies need to start with a clear purpose for the innovation outpost before opening it, but they must be ready to adapt it as the outpost evolves. Set the right architecture. Effective brokers have a nearby support team that help develop prototypes and or make the business cases for collaborations. These support teams act as landing pads to receive knowledge from innovation outposts about potential partnership opportunities. Establish relevant processes. Many outposts concentrate too much on the ecosystem, neglecting the fact that if projects do not succeed internally, startups and others in the ecosystem will find them a waste of time. Successful outposts identify important processes to facilitate effective collaboration. To learn more, read Innovation Outposts in Entrepreneurial Ecosystems, How to Make Them More Successful by Benoit Deckerton and others in California Management Review, Volume 63, Issue 3.